Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to convert your USDT to Naira using the BitGet exchange. It is very very simple, there is nothing hard. Subscribe to this channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I post new video. Let me share my screen with you shortly so you see how I'll be doing this thing. Very simple and simple. Now I am on the app, I'll go to the assets down here in the right side corner. there now you have to make sure your usdt is on your funding like if you see now my usdt is on the spot here this is the spot it's on the spot but i need it to be on the funding so i can trade it online now what i will do is click on this transfer here click on this transfer so i can send it to the funding before i trade online it has loaded i will have to switch it because i'm sending from funding now we'll click here to select funding i'm sending from the spot to funding you select the i'm sending in usdt now i have to put all usdt 2.5 i'll say confirm now funds transfer so we'll go to p2p we check here now we we'll refresh you see there's nothing in the spot again it's now on the funding account my usdt is now here now we'll go to the p2p that is how we'll be selling it online the p2p when it loads you click on the sell i've already clicked on sell and let's wait for it to load now it has loaded i'm just going to put three thousand this so that whoever i'll be selling to be buying a minimum of 3000 naira worth of USDT. You can see this first person here. He's buying at the price of 1700. Is a good rate for me. I'll click on sell. Note I'm just using this for uh, I'm not actually selling, so I will click on maximum so 2.5. You can see he'll be paying me in naira. 4182 naira. Now, if I say sell USDT with zero fees, once I click approve now, if I click here, it's going to approve it. But well, I am not selling. That's all. Okay, you can see it was very simple on the phone. After you've clicked on sell, you wait for your wife for the buyer to confirm. Once the buyer has confirmed the payment, you also have to wait till you receive the payment on your phone. Do not release the coin until you've receive proof of payment on your account and once you've received the payment then you can release the coin to the buyer after you releasing the coin to ask you for your, your two-factor authentication code you put it and also put the code they will be sending to your email so the moment you do that the transaction is completed if you enjoyed this video like it subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification see you guys in my next video